Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I forgot to film an intro. So this is my Monday vlog where we are doing some quilting, some shopping, some grocery shopping, some picture hanging and freezing. All the things. It's so easy to do an intro when it's already done, huh? All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoy and you have a good one. Bye. Hi, friends. We are getting ready to put a quilt together. Here's where I'm at, first of all. But I've got some issues. I've got too many trucks here at the bottom and too many farms at the top. But I wanted to lay it out in the color frame. And now what I'm going to do is start sorting them out. So like in this situation where I've got a red truck next to a, a white one with the truck, those two, I'm going to grab some different ones and blend them in and see if I can't come up with a more random, ooh, random look. <laughs> we'll see, but I'll bring you around for the next step. All right, you won't see much of a difference, but I did break up some of the patterns that were stuck. These green green ones with the ivy or the holly on them. I can't, there's just too many to break them up. But I think this is a good pattern. I think there's a good variety, except for those three buffalo check in the same row. I'm gonna switch those up and then I think we're good. Next step is to sew on the stripping between. Guys, I'm at Marshall's and I was headed to Hobby Lobby to get a tiered tray but you know I really like this uh, rectangular shape I think I'm gonna make one out of these two baskets all I need is a pedestal candlestick for the between and paint these black oh yeah we're gonna do it and the price is right eight and Six. So about $16, I would say, with tax. And it's perfect for my table because I like this rectangular shape. So we're going to get that. And then I'm going to get this T-Fall pan. I need something with a little higher side to it. And it's only $10, so we're going to try that. Well, let's go. Do I need some salty caramel coffee flavoring? No, you don't. I mean, I probably do. But, oh, I don't know, guys. Pumpkin caramel, maple donut, pumpkin roll. Oh, the teas. All right, this one is only $16.99. I don't have to do anything to it. And I do like that as well. So now I have to decide if I want to put work into it or not. How about not? Yeah, let's go with that one. I'm obsessed. Look at all this white. I love white dishes. Eventually, I'm going to replace all my dishes with white. But for now... Ugh. Chef at work. Look at that for coffee. But it doesn't really hold K-cups well. For Thanksgiving I just have a hard time having something specific for Thanksgiving oh look at those bowls I'm all over the place today <sighs> but look all this natural stuff okay that set of dish towels I think I'm gonna get rid of all my old ones donate them and look at these fall colors and they're nice and cotton okay let's do that I'm a little obsessed, as you all know, with the clear refrigerator storage containers. I don't feel like I need any right now. Like I have plenty, but these are fun. And these, oh, look at the size of this one. Oh, that could be for like a closet or something. Yeah, and I buy these at the Dollar Tree. Now, if I needed a larger size like these with the pullout, I would get them here. For sure. And then all the cleaning product. And look at all the candles. I'm not doing it. I'm not buying candles right now. 
Oh, except for look at that one. It says, hello, pumpkin. But I have all my bath and body work, so we don't need these right now. Let's go find the fall stuff. Let's look at the pumpkin with the copper lid. Oh, it's a candle. Didn't I just say I wasn't buying more candles? I did, but look at that. I don't need any pumpkins. I was on the hunt for Ray Dunn. I don't see any. Oh, look at these. Um, garland. Pumpkins and ghosts. They're all the same. And spiders. And then look at that wreath. And the signs. Try not to touch everything. I wanted Ray Dawn, and I don't see Ray Dawn. All right, well, maybe they just don't have it in yet, or it's all gone. We'll try a different store. Oh, I'm obsessed with this sweater. It's not my size, but I'm going to try it anyway. Now I have to take it home, but look at that color. Oh, I love it. We're going to try it on. I'm going to take it home and buy it, and then if it doesn't work, I'll bring it back. Pretty. Because I need this sign. Help me, I'm talking and I can't stop. That's my life. But look at that one. I wonder how much these are. Four nine nine, not too bad. It's 3D. But I need that in my life. Okay, I'm here at IKEA for my click and collect. And I'm next. I'm next in line. I need to have my mask ready. And I need to clean up my car a little bit. But this was easy, guys. I'm telling you, I'm not waiting in a line for several hours. My car is a mess. For several hours to pick up stuff that I could just pick up here at Click and Collect. Everything they sell in stores online. Now, the hazard or the downside, I suppose, is you need to know what you want. I knew exactly what I wanted, so that was easy. But if you're here to peruse, because you don't know the things that you want, then you're gonna have to wait in line. That's the downside. But, like I said, I knew what I wanted, and it says, good news, my order's on its way out. I will record and let us see how this works. From watching the person next to me, they just roll it out and you load it into your car, which is fine. I didn't get a lot of stuff. Um, two of the things I wanted were out of stock. I will give you a heads up if you have an Ikea near you and you don't know. They have pillow inserts. And their pillow inserts, they have cotton filled and they have duck, duck, duck down. The cotton ones are as low as like $3, but they're not that great. The down ones are $6 and they're pretty good. So... I am upgrading my cotton to the down, to the down ones, but they're out. So I have two down and two cotton at home, the, the filling in the, and they are 20 by 20. I will also give you a little hint that if you buy, so they don't come with covers, and they're $6 for the down ones, did I just say that? I don't know. And then I just buy um, pillow covers to go over them, and they're so much easier to store because you just fold them up, they're washable. Um, like I need to wash the ones on my couch now, cat fur and stuff, and they wash up nice. They say not to dry, so I hang mine, I iron them, and then they go in a closet, and I have all my pillow covers stacked up, which is really cool. Um, and they come out with different colors each season. I like the, the solid colored ones, but they have print, so they have all the things. And the covers I think I bought were $6. Sometimes they're $3.99. It just depends on the fabric and the color you want. Um, so yeah. Okay, here comes my order. Let me put my mask on. It's clean. Because he's going to come to my window. I'm wearing conflicting shirts here, but that's okay. Yes. All right, do I have the last four of your order number here, Max? Maybe. Yes. I had to get my email. Hold on.
Okay, so I got a coupon. $5 off my Swedish food market, which I don't shop there. And a thank you note in my receipt, which I'll keep. Um, the other thing is, here's how this works too. They only have so many slots per day. So like the other night when I placed my order, um, they only had so many openings and it won't let you like book out. They have so many set and then it's gone. So what I did is I just kept my stuff in the cart and I kept going back and then about nine o'clock spots opened. Okay, I wanted to look at this because this is the pillow cover that I got and it was supposed to be a dark navy blue. So let's see, it's also in plastic. Okay, oh guys, it is navy blue. <gasps> look at this and it's like a suede. Oh, the cats are gonna go crazy for that. This is why it was $6. It's a suede fabric, which I'm okay with for fall. Look at that texture. And then it's just zips up. I'll show you, I'll be doing a haul. You should tell me in here. I don't know what it is, but it tells you somewhere in here how to launder it. But I don't know that answer. Wait just a second. But, oh. I don't know. Anyway, I got two of these in this navy blue. I was hoping they have like a, a burnt orange, but they don't for fall, but that's okay. So here we go. Isn't that so pretty? And yeah, so you have to, you have to schedule, which is fine. We'll see, you know, oh, I got my seatbelt on girl. Um, and then I had to find my place back here, which again was a little challenging, but I did that. All right, next stop. I don't know. Bye. Okay, here's my grocery haul. Nothing to speak of. I grabbed some bacon. Oh, that was $3.47. I grabbed a Hillshire Farm summer sausage. I think that was $5.47. Um, this has less than one carb. You've got to get beef. The summer sausage has carbs. And this is a pretty big one for that amount. It's 19 ounces, but that'll be good all week for lunches or to snack on. Got some chorizo. Now, you want to get the gluten-free, no MSG, no fillers. So this one was $3.37. Next to it were three different ones for like a dollar, but they all had six or seven carbs per serving. This has one carb per serving, and that's all the spices. And if you don't know, chorizo is a sausage. There's fat in it. It's for keto. The macros are pretty pretty okay there's 15 grams of fat to only six proteins so that's what we look for in keto but it's great if you just want to use a little bit to flavor up something like scrambled eggs or um you know cook with it in different foods as a spice as a seasoning not necessarily as your protein source um but it's really good so I grabbed that and I grabbed my pepper jack, extra sharp cheddar, and Swiss. That will go with this for the week. I grabbed a cream for my coffee. And then I'm going to make for dinner tonight or tomorrow night um, egg roll in a bowl or crack slaw, depending what you call it. But it's ground beef or pork or chicken with cabbage and then Asian spices. And it tastes like an egg roll. But I'm not making a whole lot, so I'm not, I don't need a whole head of cabbage. So for $1.57, I just bought a bag of slaw mix, and there won't be any waste to it. And then I'll just add my meat and spices. All right, that's it. That's all I bought this week. Let's go shopping. All right, we are sitting on my floor in a sundress. Yeah, we are. I am going to be hanging this sign. Um, it has, like I think I said in another video, it has these sawtooth hangers, but I don't want to use those. So I picked up this kit. These are great from the Dollar Tree. They have all kinds of picture hangers. And what we're going to do is we're going to hang, put the screws over here, and I'm, I already did that one, and over here. And then we're going to use this wire to hang it, and that way I only have to have one hook. That's ideal for me and getting things straight. Look out that for Alex. So what I did to measure is I just measured down from this corner to here on both sides so they're even. And this is pokey and this wood is not hard. So you just go in as straight as you can into the center. 
These are like teacup hooks, except for they're, they're circular. I'll show you one close up. Ooh. And then you're just screwing them in. It's that easy. You can also utilize like a screwdriver or something, but it's not that difficult. Oh, sorry. There you go. So, oh, here's what I use to measure. And if anybody was wanting to know what color paint I use for my walls, it's Etched Glass by Bear. I hope you can see that. But I just marked it with a Sharpie, put my screw in. And this wire is pretty neat because it's, you know, it, it's wire, so it, it will tighten on itself. So on this side, I'm just twisting it around itself several, several times because I don't want it to come out, right? Don, you got to eat, buddy. He's mad at me. He was eating his dinner, and I put his pill in his throat, and now he won't eat. <sighs> Cats. All right, so there. That one is done. I will like it pretty taut across. It will have some give, but I want it pretty tight. Like this here. You just come through here. Now, unfortunately, I can't do the same twisty dealy but I can still twist it around. It's just a little challenging, a little different, but here's the deal. Don't do it too hard or you'll pull that screw out. Just taut. And then I don't need all of this, so what I will do is I brought down a little pair of wire snips. Just snip it off. It's interesting, it doesn't come with a lot of wire, but it does come with a lot of these screws. It also comes with a lot of these anchors to hang things, which is what I love about these little kits. But this is the teacup hook, but it's got a circular tip on it. I hope you can see how's that. Yep, so that's done. Put my kit away, and then I will utilize this later when I am ready to um, actually hang up stuff, which I'm not ready to do yet. But another thing I enjoy about this is it snaps shut. So that's a dollar from the Dollar Tree. I know fun. Now this will be ready to hang on a hook right here in the center and it's just easier to level it. That's the word I'm looking for. And it's not going anywhere. It's, it's you know, it's on here. Got these tight. And quite frankly for a dollar, these kits are better then if I went out and bought just wire and spe it's special wire, it is for hanging pictures, but it was a good deal. Now we are going to do the last thing I'm doing for the night and I'll bring you along. We're going to get some, I made some of my keto bread and we're going to put that into the, it's in the freezer now, but we're going to bag it up and then put it back in the freezer. So come with me. And the last thing we have to do, these are the keto bread rolls that I make. And I froze them solid. I freeze things a lot this way because it doesn't stick together, right? So I'll stick four in here. And then I just have a piece of parchment paper that I stick in the bag. And it doesn't matter if it's perfect. The goal is to keep them from sticking on top of each other, right? And then we'll stick these guys in here. I'm not gonna stick any more parchment in. I'll just put that last one up there. And then I just put it in my freezer. And now I have nine pieces of keto bread that I can use to make sandwiches or whatever when I'm on the go or busy. I like to do this a lot. Oh, it's on my floor. Trash bag. Oh, my towel. Well, uh, I like to do this a lot, especially when I'm working my two jobs. Um, but right now it's just good to have grab and go 10, 20 seconds in the microwave. These will fall. 
But like I said, this is just a technique on how I freeze lots of stuff. You put it on a sheet pan, you freeze it solid, and then you can put it in a baggie and it won't stick together. So I hope that was helpful. And I am going to go edit some videos and relax for the evening. So I hope you have a good one and I will talk with you later. Bye.